Survivor, the eight most memorable times contestants quit. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Zone. Number 8, Jenna Moraska, All Stars. Jenna Moraska won Survivor the Amazon and returned for the first ever All Star season. However, it was clear from the first day that her heart wasn't in it and she was battling some inner guilt for coming back to play a second time. Turns out, Jenna's mother was sick at home and her days were numbered. This was weighing on her to the point where she couldn't fully play the game, and on day 9, she made the decision to leave so she could be with her mother. It was the right call as Jenna's mom passed away about a week after she got back. It was the first quit by a former winner and one that was supported and encouraged by her peers. Number 7. Kathy Sleckman, Micronesia Kathy Sleckman pulled herself from the game just days before the merge in the first edition of Survivor Fans vs Favorites. After making friends with a lot of the favorite players and spending a long time on Exile Island, Kathy realized the game was getting to her and suffered a breakdown. It was later explained that Kathy was experiencing withdrawals from lack of her prescribed medication, causing her to have a difficult time within the game. Her tribe mates were sad to see her go, as were the fans who were cheering her on. But her decision was supported and she was kissed goodbye on the way out. Number 6. Sue Hawk, All Stars In one of Survivor's most serious moments and controversies, Sue Hawk famously quit All Stars in front of everyone following a challenge the day prior. At said challenge, contestant and former winner Richard Hatch participated naked and allegedly touched Sue inappropriately, something that affected her deeply and made it impossible for her to continue playing the game. Sue explained that it was a terrible moment for her and that she could not go on, something that unfortunately wasn't taken as seriously in 2004 as it would be today following hashtag me too. Number 5. Kelly Shin, Nicaragua Kelly Shin was known as Purple Kelly due to the purple in her hair and her being the second player named Kelly on her season. Kelly famously quit at Tribal Council alongside her friend Naonka Mixon, complaining of discomfort due to the elements of the island. Kelly and Naonka still got to join the jury, something that would change following the season as host Jeff Probst argued that those who quit post-merge would not get a chance to participate in the most important vote of the show. Kelly's portrayal on the show, which was basically non-existent, has been branded the Purple Exit, and players who received similar edits in following seasons were regarded as Purple Players. Number 4. Naonka Mixon, Nicaragua Though there were only 11 days left in the game, Naonka Mixon and her friend Kelly Shin made the decision to quit the game together at Tribal Council on Day 28. Naonka was one of the most popular players on Survivor Nicaragua, making her quit shocking and affecting the course of the game. She and Kelly's joint quit due to the Nicaraguan rains and harsh living conditions changed the way Survivor handled jury rights, and Jeff Probst expressed his unhappiness with the fact that they were allowed to join the jury despite not being voted properly out of the game. Number 3. Colton Cumby, Blood vs. Water Notorious Survivor villain Colton Cumby was accused of fake appendicitis on One World, but that exit was ultimately ruled a medical evacuation. When he returned with his boyfriend Kayla Bangston for season 27, Blood vs. Water, Colton officially quit seven days in at the Redemption Island Challenge Arena. Colton found it difficult to compete on a tribe separate from his partner and couldn't handle the physical and mental toll the game was taking on him anymore. His tribe was disappointed in him as they didn't want to be down a member, and Jeff Probst gave him a hard time for voluntarily exiting the game twice. His loved one Caleb went on to do really well on the season, placing ninth, making the jury and becoming a fan favorite. Number 2. Sandra Diaz Twine, Winners at War Two-time winner Sandra Diaz Twine iconically returned to compete in the 40th season, Survivor Winners at War. However, she then made history as the only player to be voted out that season that refused to continue competing on the edge of extinction. When Sandra was voted out prior to the merge, she arrived on the edge and promptly raised the flag signifying that her time in the game was over and she was ready to go home. She didn't join the jury like every other eliminated castaway and didn't join everyone at Ponderosa on day 36. It was a memorable and relatable moment as Sandra decided she had had enough and didn't need to put herself through more pain and suffering after already winning the game twice.
Number 1. Austin Taylor, Pearl Islands This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure that you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.